Hello everyone, this is a completely different type of video than I normally make. I've been getting a lot of questions recently asking what mods I use or what solvers, any type of question mod related. So I just wanted to go over quickly on what mods I'm using, how to set them up and how to download them, because a lot of people seem to be struggling. Even though there's already a bunch of tutorials, I'm still going to go over it. I will uninstall all my mods for the purpose of this video and reinstall them. I'm going to showcase all the mods before I show you guys how to download them. I will leave timestamps in the description so you guys can jump, and I'll also leave links to every single mod that I use. If you're needing any help downloading any of these mods, I will be available in my Discord server, which will also be linked in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first mod I'm going to be going over is Forge. There's really not much to it. It is basically necessary for all the mods we'll be going over. The first real mod I'll be going over is Essentials. Essentials doesn't really have much, but it has some quality of life things. It also has plenty of cosmetics and emotes kind of like other clients. If you don't like them on, you can always turn all of it off. I personally like the windowed full screen option so I can transfer between my monitors with ease. And that's pretty much it for Essential. The next mod is SkyTills. SkyTills is a very unique mod. SkyTills has multiple functionalities such as dungeon mods, solvers. It also has a lot of mining and of course other regular quality of life changes. It also has key shortcuts which can be really useful if you're super sweaty. I personally don't have any because I like to play more casual, but you can set these up if you'd like. Next we have Neo or Not Enough Updates. Not Enough Updates is one of my personal favorites as it has a lot of quality of life changes and a lot of features to help prevent yourself from getting scammed such as when you're trading people. This mod will help you from getting scammed from other players by telling you the item value of what they're trading you. And it'll also let you know when they take something out and swap it. See, the giant sword was swapped, and now it's just a regular iron sword. And the total value changed from 177 to 37 coins. It also has other changes, such as your backpack layout. I personally like it because you're able to see every single backpack at once. If you don't like this, you can always turn it off and go back to normal. One other thing for Niu is the slash profile viewer. You can do slash PV, and you can view your own self. You can check out all your stats. You can see your dungeon profile stats your storage, everything in here. You can also see your net worth. It's not always entirely accurate, but it's a good estimate. The next mod is Soupy V2, but in order for this mod, you do need to download Chat Chiggers, which is a designated mod used for Soupy. For Soupy, there's a ton of useful mods that a lot of people use. I personally only use Soupy for my dungeon solvers, as they are my favorite ones, but you can use any of the other accessible mods in here. They are all very nice. I personally haven't used every single one, but it's your choice whether or not you want it or not. It has built-in features such as a frag bot. I personally don't know how it works, but I'm sure it's simple to use. The next mod is Skyblock Extras. Skyblock Extras is a paid mod. You do have to pay $5 just to use it. This mod has a lot of features. I personally only use a couple at the moment, but honestly, I don't use as many mods as I used to. So if you're not willing to chalk up $5, I wouldn't download this mod. The next mod is Scrollable Tooltips. It's a very self-explanatory mod. It allows you to scroll whenever you're hovering over a tool, so you can see all the enchants or whatever it's saying at the top. Very self-explanatory. The next mod is Skyblock Add-ons. This is the first mod I've ever downloaded for Skyblock. It has plenty of features that you can choose to disable or not. My favorite mod is the health and mana bar change instead of looking like the vanilla texture. I also like to use the built-in Slayer trackers that pop up at the top of the screen. The next mod, of course, is Dungeon Room Waypoints. This mod displays where all the secrets, super booms, and all entrance waypoints are at. It's a very useful mod if you're new to dungeons and trying to learn all the secrets, so I definitely recommend this. The next mod I want to talk about is Better Map. This is my personal favorite map as it shows the player head of which room they are in, your score, whether or not you killed the mimic, and it shows check marks on which rooms are done and failed. You can change the look and how it is all with the settings. You can also change the look of the map if you don't like the, how it is. Also included in Better Map, it shows you where the wither doors are if you're trying to blood rush. It makes it go a little faster. So that's basically all the mods that I currently use. Now there's obviously other mods that you can download. Some that are better, some that are worse. I just wanted to cover the mods that I'm currently using. Now if you want to know how to download all the mods, continue watching the video. If you already know how to download the mods, then you can already click off. It's up to you. I desperately need watch time, so please stay. Now all that's left to do is to uninstall my mods and re-download them. So in order to use all our mods, we need to download a mod called Forge. So just come to this link here. All links will be left in the description. Don't click on any of these advertisements. I know the three for me sounds like a good deal from Jilly's, but we're just going to click on this installer here. Don't click any of these. Just exit out 
and then it's going to bring you here don't download this don't click this either we're gonna wait up here in the top right and then skip and then it's gonna start downloading it here now we're gonna wait on that one and we're just gonna go to the next one so the next mod is going to be essentials we're just gonna go to this link really easy and then we're gonna click download right up here in the corner we're gonna click out of this ad and then we're gonna wait a moment and then it'll automatically download it in the bottom the next mod is going to be sky tills all we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down to downloads, click that, and then scroll to BS mod, the newest one here at the top. Uh, it may say something else, but just look for the newest one at the top and then click that. And then it's going to start downloading here. Now the next mod is not enough updates. This one, just go to this link and then we're going to click on not enough updates. This is why I like GitHub more because there's no ads or links, no distractions. It's very straightforward. So for the next mod, it's going to be Soupy V2. This one has an installation guide and I'm going to walk you through it really quickly. So we need to download chat triggers. So I'm going to open that up here. And then we also need to download the Soupy mod. So chat triggers, we're just going to go here and then we're going to click on CTJS, the most recent one, download that. And then we're going to come over to Soupy and then download that. Very simple for Soupy. The reason we need to download chat triggers is because it's required to run Soupy in case you are wondering. So this is Skyblock Extras. It is a paid mod. It does cost you $5. So if we scroll down, it costs you $5 and you get full access to the mod. So if we click purchase, it'll bring us here. Add to basket. We would type in our username. It'll tell you to log in with Discord because there's a linking process you need to do. So once you've purchased Skyblock Extras, you'll join their Discord and you'll come over here. You'll go to donator bot commands. You're going to need to run a verification command. You need to verify your account and then you need to do slash new key. Like you can see people here and then it'll send you a code in your direct messages, open those direct messages, and then it'll give you access to the mod files. And then once you have access to the mod files, all you got to do is click download and then continue to download. Scrollable tooltips is a nice fun mod. Very simple. This is the website for scrollable tooltips. All we got to do is scroll here and then we're on 1.8.9. So click that and then boom down at the bottom. Here we are for skyblock add-ons. This one's also very easy. Click download here and then we're just going to wait 10 seconds and then we'll get a download link. And there we are right here in the bottom left. Now this mod is the dungeon room waypoints called dungeon room mods and all we're gonna have to do is click downloads here and then we're gonna scroll and click on the first link now there's still one more mod called better maps but we actually have to set that up inside the game so now I'm gonna show you how to put all of these inside your minecraft folder so if you're old and you like to do things the slower way you can click on the search bar in the bottom left you can type in percent app data percent and then enter it'll bring you to this file here just click on dot minecraft at the top the other way to open up the minecraft folder is you can do start plus r and then also type in percent at data percent and it'll bring you to the same place now what we're going to want to do is we're going to open dot minecraft and if you don't already have a mods folder go ahead and create one if you do find it and let's open it and now we're going to input all of the files that we just downloaded what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my previously downloaded and I'm going to drag and drop all of them in just like this, drag over and then drop. Now I have all my mods in here and all of them will start to download automatically if they don't click on them and then they'll have a little update or a way to install them. So now if you did everything correctly, we can go ahead and load up the Minecraft launcher. We're going to create a new installation, new, and then we're going to search for Minecraft 1.8.9. So we're going to have to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Yeah. So for mine, it was at the very, very bottom click on release 1.8.9 and then you can name it whatever you want i'm gonna name mine skyblock mods there we go one other cool thing that i like to do you don't have to do this this is up to you this is adding more ram to my minecraft launcher so right now this little argument here it's only allowing two gigabytes of ram to be used i have 32 gigabytes so i'm gonna allow i'm gonna allow eight gigabytes of ram to be used and then i'm done you don't have to do that but it helps run my game a little faster it might help yours and then you're gonna click create and then you're gonna search for skyblock mods right here click play now we're gonna see all the mods that we just downloaded start appearing as we load up and if we did everything correctly everything should now be installed and it looks like it's there we're gonna load straight into the game everything should have been done correctly 
So now we're going to get into the last few things. So the first thing you're going to want to do whenever you load in is run this command API new. And what this is going to do is going to put your API into all the mods. And usually the mods grab them automatically. So as you can see, all of mine grabbed it and that's set. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to run a command CT import better map just like that. And then chat triggers is going to automatically import better map as you can see. And then all we're going to have to do is slash BM. And now we have access to all of it. Now, with that being said, every single mod you should need in Skyblock should be downloaded. And if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. If for some whatever reason you're still struggling to download, please join my discord. I'll try my best to help when I can. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.